offshore wind as it relates to the larger picture of renewables is forming that package of cleaner future as far as cleaner air and cleaner water. Oysters being filter feeders, the cleaner the water they're growing in, the better product you're going to have. And, and so you look at certain things like rising ocean temperatures and acidification of the ocean, things that present challenges to the species. My name's Scott Budden. I'm a partner at Orchard Point Oyster Company, and we sustainably farm oysters on Maryland's eastern shore in the Chesapeake Bay. Sustainability gets thrown around a lot. We can sustain this effort year in and year out, and we're not putting a burden on the wild stocks. We try to think about our farming as just very low, the bottom of the food pyramid. They're improving water quality, eating only plants. We don't have to kill their animals or process any food in order to feed them. Because oysters are a keystone species in the bay, they're a building block, they create habitat for other species. With climate change and the trend of, of warming ocean waters, it's something we have to keep an eye on. Uh, I think we've all seen the bay kind of change quite a bit over the last you know, three to five decades and not necessarily for the better. A cool future would be if we were running off of more renewables, obviously, than where we currently are. I mean, I think it would be cool because they're doing their thing out there, powering the things we use in everyday life.